Does fatty liver really need surgery to fix it? Fatty liver is nothing else but a simple case of a bit more than normal fat in the liver. This is how it is generally passed off. And people think, let me just lose a little bit of weight and everything will be fine. However, let us look at this simple condition which is so commonly prevalent and what are the consequences of ignoring this in light of this most recent study that is just hot off the press. The condition called fatty liver is generally passed off as something very simple and an age-related change. Perhaps it occurs because of slight gain in weight as we age. However, modern science is pointing to the fact that this is fast becoming the number one cause of liver failure and liver transplantation in advanced countries and communities. See, fatty liver starts off very innocently with just a little bit of extra fat in the liver, which is picked up most of the times on either a blood test or on an ultrasound scan, which is done for an unrelated reason. It then slowly progresses to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH, which is then a precursor for cirrhosis, which means scarring of the liver tissue, which is an independent risk factor for liver cancer. And it can also progress to liver failure. So if you want to know more about what are the simple tests that we do and perhaps simple lifestyle changes, then I would refer you to a previous video that I have already made. And that is certainly something that would be of interest to you. However, in this video, I'm going to be specifically focusing on this latest study that has been published in the Journal of American Medical Association. And it talks about the role of surgery, specifically weight loss surgery, in treating fatty liver disease. The study was called SPLENDOR, SPLENDOR standing for surgical procedures and long-term effectiveness in NASH disease and obesity risk study, which came out of Cleveland Clinic. And one of my colleagues, Dr. Ali Aminian, uh, was the lead investigator of the study. What they did was they took 1,158 patients who had biopsy proven fatty liver disease and followed them for a period of 10 years from 2004 to 2016. And what they found was really stark differences, which I'll summarize over here for you. The study itself involved 650 patients who went down the path of weight loss surgery, which could include gastric sleeve or gastric bypass surgery, whereas 580 patients who went down the path of non-surgical methods of weight management, such as dieting, exercise programs, and things like that. Now, here is the three key findings that were really amazing. Number one, they found that there was a three times higher number of people who progressed to advanced liver disease in the non-surgical group. 2.3% progressed to advanced liver disease in the surgical group, whereas 9.6% progressed to advanced liver disease in the non-surgical group. Point number two, the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, and heart failure was almost double in the non-surgical group in comparison to the surgical group. 8.5% in the surgical group versus 15.7% in the non-surgical group. And point number three, which is the very obvious thing, was people who had weight loss surgery had a significant weight loss difference of almost five times between the surgical arm and the non-surgical arm. 
So the most important thing is that these surgical arm patients had a significant health benefit from weight loss surgery and its effects on fatty liver if we consider just that which is what this study was focusing on. Clearly weight loss surgery indications were well defined. They took people with BMI above 35 who had medical conditions and offered them weight loss surgical procedures as I just mentioned. I understand that surgery is not for everybody but here is what I have to say. Health is everybody's right but along with rights come duties and if we don't do our duty we have no claim on our rights. My question to you in light with this latest study findings is what are you doing to reclaim your right? If you like this video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to stay in tune with forthcoming videos.